outright mockery of the U.S. military's inability to either capture or kill Suwadi Sadano. The guerrilla leader has appeared on the front lines of nearly every major being sold over the internet and have become popular across the world. Even their wearers seem largely unsure whether or not irony is. I mean, it seems like we went to war without declaring anything, and a war we're kind of losing. I don't know what's... Bringing the smallpox vaccination death toll to six. Still no word from government officials regarding... So things not looking that good back in the States with this whole smallpox thing. But fortunately, we have traced those calls. We know where they're coming from. Apparently, they're coming from a submarine. Sedano has, has one of those, I guess. That's pretty neat. So we're going to have to get into there. So this mission, it's, it's, it's not, there's not a whole lot to it, actually. It's not, it's not super complicated or difficult. You're just about in position. Right. I see the abandoned, but where's the shipyard? Underground. The dock was made for submersibles. So right off the bat, lots of grass, which means the frame rate is not good. Let's just start sneaking. We should spook some birds in a second. Movement! I need a ground check in my sector. Sure it's not another bird, Hag? It's alright. I'll take a look. So spooking the birds causes that guy to wander over there so we can take him out. Easy peasy. And also we have a turret. It's actually got some pretty good coverage of this field. And we do have some flares we could use against it, but we're not gonna do that. They don't they don't work that well, actually. And of course there's the turret up in the watchtower there, which we can't really do anything about at all. So he kinda spotted me for a second, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't raise any alarms, although it probably should. But what we're gonna do may not seem like a good idea, is we're just gonna kind of rush the thing. It doesn't feel like it should work, but it does. Which is kind of weird. Let's just turn it off, I guess. May as well. Well, that's taken care of. We do want to get our thermal vision, because there are some more traps. We're not gonna really be seeing these traps at all after this level, but, you know... There's a couple more. Looks like the way ahead is clear, so we can just go and grab this. So we have a couple of guards here. Got that guy. And there's another guy. Where is he? Oh yeah, I should probably actually show you these. It's just a shotgun with a laser. Like, it's not even a person you can, like, shoot. Somehow that shotgun has really good range. Hold on, let's save here. As we try to locate the second guy, because there is a second guy. Ah, oh, there he is. Also, there's some strange-looking mounds in the ground. Those aren't really a thing. It's just dirt. Looks like they might be a thing, but nothing to worry about. Anyways, let's just lure this man over here. His friend is not going to come over here, because he's dumb. All right, pretty smooth. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's just these two guys, but just in case, let's move a little slowly. Let's not assume anything and rush out. Okay, looks clear. Just take care of this light. That's weird. It sure is. You can check it out. No, he's not. He's not going to do anything, man. Look at him, he's just in flavor country. Totally enjoying his smokes. Not a care in the world. Well, good for him. 
We're gonna head over towards this building. Should be plenty dark over here. Yeah, it looks fine. All right. So guess what, guys? We're actually gonna do a half split jump. We haven't done those, like, at all, but here's a great spot for one. Look at this. Just pop right up here and go into this building. Isn't that great? You can actually do one of those jumps. Well, okay, to be fair, there's a couple of times I could have done one, but I did not. I think I shouldn't spot me when I go out here. It's a little bright, but we're out of view. All right. Now, right here, we have a kind of annoying thing. So there's two guys at a table, and it's kind of bright there, and it's kind of bright here. And some of the light sources here are fire, and we can't do anything about that. So I'm going to try and do this properly. Actually, we're going to use a smoke grenade, which, despite the name, will knock guys out. It won't just obscure their vision. So let's just first off get into position here, and that should get them both. When you launch a smoke grenade, guards will try to run away from it. But those guys are sitting down, and I think in the time it takes for them to stand up, they wouldn't have had a chance to do that. So that went perfectly, actually, which is really good. guys should be hidden, but I don't want to just leave them here. It just seems like a, a dumb thing to do, although it probably doesn't matter all that much. So with these guys out of the way, this area is actually a lot easier to do. Obviously. But there are more enemies in the area, so let's still move a little slowly. So we want to head towards this building on the right side. Not that one. See that blob of heat? That's a dog. Let's just stay far away from that dog. Let's come in here. Now... It's a little bit bright, but that's okay. Just want to take our time and want to move slow. In fact, just in case. You may think, hey, maybe we should shoot the light out. Don't shoot the light out. You don't need to shoot the light out. Because there's a guy asleep right there. We don't want to do anything that might disturb him. Let's just creep on past. Doesn't have a satchel or anything, so we can let him sleep. And we should be far enough away from the dog. So it should not be able to detect me as we get across this area. We need to go right there. There's a little, a little passageway between the building and the wall. It's kind of bright, but we should be okay. Alright. And again, we're going to do a half-split jump. That's twice in one mission. Pretty wild, guys. It's like they forgot you could do that for most of this game. And they remembered, oh wait, we have this new move. Here's a kind of part that seems tricky, but it's really not. So we got a guy watching TV. Slacking off, as usual. And there's someone shooting. We have a passageway down there, so we should go down there. It's a little too bright to go over there. We don't want to go over there anyways, because the other guy who's shooting is over there. Now, it's very important that you leave this guy alone right here, because... If you disturb him, you're probably going to get an alarm, because his friend will see him go down. His 
friend is right there, doing some target practice, I guess. That's okay. We should be safe right here. Do a little SWAT turn. Now, he will eventually stop shooting. And he'll move somewhere else. And unfortunately, this opening is a little too wide to do a SWAT turn. That guy will take a seat there. Which gives us a perfect chance to drop him. Just go around this machinery to obscure view from the turret. Although we may be too far away for it to see us anyways. Just take care of this man right here. Alright. Just gotta hide this guy real quick. I guess he's kind of hidden right here, but still. It just feels dumb to leave bodies out in the open. And this is a much better spot. So we can turn that, that off, I guess. What did that do? Well, I guess we'll see in a second. First off, let's get over to where we need to go, which is right near that turret. So I'm pretty sure TV Guard never leaves that spot unless you disturb him somehow, which we won't be. Let's just do this real quick. Now, in this next building here, uh, don't just rush in. Something's on the wall moving up and down. What could that be? Well, there's lasers. Pretty high-tech security for this rundown village. I wonder what it could be guarding. These aren't too difficult to just walk past. Well, we do have to go underground to find uh, the dock for the submarine. This looks promising. Also, I hope you're all enjoying this buzzing sound, because that's not going to stop. No, really, it's not. Like, even when we go down this elevator, it's still going to be buzzing. I don't know why. GPS shows you're a stone's throw from the control room. Walk softly and use that technician. If you raise the sub yourself, you're going to bring up a lot of Dara Dandoa, who won't be happy to see you. You're underestimating my charm. So a thing that hasn't really been mentioned, we have to raise the sub. And we have to use the technician to do it. So we gotta make sure that any technician looking dudes stay upright. Hold on, I gotta open the doors. This hallway is a little bit bright-ish. Let's just save again. There's a guy right around the corner here. We want to lure him into the hallway, because where he is, is a bit bright. Let's just turn the lights off. And he should come to investigate. Alright. Alright, easy peasy. What are we going to do with this guy? Well, there is a little room over here. Yeah, this will do just fine. Also, a med kit in case you got shot a couple times. You really shouldn't have. Just in case, though, I guess. So let's just leave these lights off. Just in case anyone stumbles into this hallway, we can use it to lure them. That's the control room. Before we go in there, let's just see what's behind these other doors. Another little closet we can hide guys in. Nothing actually in it, though. 
And I think that's the end of this area right here. I actually don't remember. Well, let's leave it alone for now. So, the control room. It's actually not that much security inside, which is a little bit strange. So, I mean, if you're gonna face away, like, how, what do you expect? I think you know what we're gonna have to do here. Something up with your throat there. Wow. So I guess we can actually put this guy in that little closet from before. I mean, it's right there. It's kind of a perfect place to hide dudes. So now, for our technician. I guess that's the submarine we're gonna get into. So fortunately, this room has a light switch in it. So, luring this guy will be pretty simple. I need those. Okay, come on. There he is. He looks technician-y. Hi. How's your English? Super. Super. I need you to raise that submarine. Why? Because hurting people ruins my sweet disposition. Ah. Uh, yes, yes, right away. Thanks. You're welcome. What more do you want from me? Please, don't hurt me. Well, that was easy. So now we just gotta take this guy to the right control panel, I guess. What more do you want from me? Which one is that? Well, I mean, it's that one. You know, that one. It's very obvious, guys. supposed to surface for another four hours. Garrett, are you there? Answer me if you're there. Otherwise, I'm pulling the alarm. Tell him we're kosher. What? Tell him nothing's wrong. Okay. There's no problem. I had a warning light flash on the ballast tanks. I'll put you back under as soon as they're fixed. Copy that. Thanks. Please, don't hurt me. What more do you want from me? <clears throat> yeah, so don't knock him out as soon as you're done. Because you kind of need him for that little alarm thing. Let's just hide him. Of course. Any other computers we can use? Don't think so. Alright. Time to get going then. I'm still not sure about this door. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a level transition, but I don't remember. This 
is really dumb. Wait, I just realized something. Okay, there's no data at all. So for some reason, the game does not tell you about this technician guy or what he looks like. I guess it's kind of obvious who it is, but it's still kind of weird. Yeah, you know, just in case this isn't a level transition, let's shoot the lights out. Hey, better safe than sorry. What if it's not? And there's like, like five guys on the side of this door. That would just be a bad time. Okay, it is. So now we're sneaking into a submarine, and something to notice is no alarms. So we can do whatever we want right now. And I'm gonna. Because this part right here is actually kind of annoying. So let's just turn the lights off, and open the door, and try to lure this guy in here. Who did that? Alright, come on. Not quite what I wanted to have happen there, but whatever, it's fine. There's no alarm, so it doesn't matter. You get spotted or whatever, it's fine. So, there's the sub, and there's a couple guys with headlamps. Now, we actually have to kill these guys, because we have to ride in a little elevator, and we're kind of exposed, so we need to shoot these dudes before they are a problem. There really is no way down, so that's what we have to do. Let's just get a little bit closer before we do anything, though. Take care of this guy first. Fortunately, bullet drop is not a thing in this game. And the range in the SC20K is actually, like, phenomenal. Well, I guess it's not that far. It's like 60 meters. It's not that bad. There's another guy there, we just can't quite get a beat on him from here. So first things first, shoot this light out, obviously. And hold on, we gotta press this button here. Okay, now... So get ready, because there's gonna be guys shooting at you. Yeah, there he is. They just instantly know you're a bad guy. Is there anybody else? Not yet. Let's take care of this guy, I guess. Yeah. Hold on. It's actually better to not use your scope for this. Okay, now there's just one more guy. You saw his headlamp. Let's try and down him from here. Uh. What? How'd that miss? What? Oh, come on. Grim's daughter's got her hands on Komodo security personnel protocols. Inside that submarine, you're going to be outmanned and outgunned. That's everywhere I go. I mean, yeah. There's nothing unusual about that, Lambert. Why'd you even say that? That submarine has a pretty nice paint job, I have to say. So we have to go that way, but first... Actually head in here. There are some items to grab. Which 
should also hide this guy. Yeah, there's the goodies. I can't quite hide him here. Well, hold on. Let's get this stuff. Probably won't need it, but still. Also, this light, pretty sure it's indestructible. Yep. Well, you have to hide this man somewhere. Can't just leave him here. I mean, there may not be any alarms, but come on. We can't slack on our job. We can't be like these guys who don't care about anything. Okay, I got it. Hold on, I got it. I got this. Just gotta do it right. Uh, oh. This is happening. I don't care if I fall off myself. This is happening. Perfect. Where is he? Ha. <laughs> He's floating on the water. Well, I guess bodies float. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, where'd he go? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Hold on. So there's nobody on the stairs. But there's a guy right there. It's not super dark on these platforms. Lots of lights. So, gotta be careful about that. Okay, you're going over too. Look, this is the best way to hide bodies, okay? Like, objectively. Ah, perfect. See, no one's ever gonna find him. This is not gonna happen. So we're finally at the sub. Now, something to pay attention to. The game doesn't really make this super clear, but as soon as you get inside, you get one alarm and you can't kill anybody. So just remember that. Just notice that you can't do that. If you don't, you're going to do something dumb and get killed or fail or whatever. Anyways, we're looking for the sis sixes thing. The sis sixes thing. Try saying that three times fast. So, there's a hatch here. I don't really worry about it right now, because it can't do anything with it. So, the sub, as you would imagine, Lots of cramped corridors, not a whole lot of room to maneuver. So it's pretty important that we save our non-lethal stuff for this part, because, you know, you're gonna kinda have to use it here. Like, look at this guy. Be pretty tricky to maneuver around him. But that's what airfoils are for. Just give him a minute to come back. Right in the oh, it's right between the eyes. That's gotta suck. All right, so what's up ahead here? bedroom, eh? Well, don't see anybody, but let's move slow. There actually is a guy sleeping. It's a little sneaky. See, there he is. Let's just leave him be. No reason to wake him up or anything.
So here, we have a pretty simple little problem to solve. There's a guy in the room, and he's actually facing this way. It's very bright, but there's a light switch right here. So, uh, guess what's gonna happen? Hey, I can't see! Let them get nice and close. All right. Fortunately, we can hide him underneath this table. And there's a door there, but we can't do anything with it. Now, up ahead, we actually need a retinal scan. Uh, we need a kernel to get past the retinal scanner. And fortunately, there is one right there. Wasn't that lucky. Now, we do need this guy conscious, so you know, make sure you don't do anything to him. He does literally just walk into your hand, so you don't really have to. Use this guy's face real quick. So only take a second. There we go. Now, can we hide him in here somewhere? Probably shouldn't. Okay, guy over there. Is he by himself? Probably not, of course. I'm gonna go down and call. I wanna call. put him here. I'll be back in a few minutes. Can you bring me a cup? No. You know the equipment's too sensitive for us to drink in here. Oh, someone's coming out. Alright, fine, I'll just put the guy over here. It's kind of boring, but whatever. Now this guy... Should probably drop him while we have the chance. I'm sure no one heard that. Put you over here. Well, that doesn't sound very good. But it's fine. We'll be able to find where the boxes are. That's what this whole mission's about. So we should totally be able to get the drop on this guy. He is all by himself. <laughs> can probably just put this guy anywhere. This room is very dark. For some reason. It seems like it'd be kind of annoying. <laughs> to work in a room that's so dark. Great work, Fisher. What do we got, Grim? Just need to find the terminal's ID number. There. Looks like we've got five subscribers. Satellite phones. U.S. numbers? Yeah. Echelon's linking them to a private military corporation. Something called Displace. We'll run a cross-check on their recent contracts. Five PMCs line up pretty nicely with our five pox boxes. What's my part? Amityville time. Get out. If we got the pox boxes, then there's nothing stopping us. The Joint Chiefs will want to move fast. Rendezvous with Cohen. It's about time you introduced yourself to Sedano. Ooh, that sounds like fun. So time to go. It's actually pretty simple to escape from the submarine. That door was locked before for some reason, but now it's not. And that hatch from before that was closed, it's open now. We can just climb right out. Well, isn't that just wonderful?
let's just save again. Because even though this game has been doing so well, we actually have a little forced shootout to do. There's somebody there! Totally on purpose, by the way. No, actually it was this time. <laughs> Luring this guy up here and then just taking him out with a shocker is the easiest way to do it. Go. All right. Let's just heal up, actually, because I'm kind of dying. All right. So here we have our shootout. It's pretty simple. It's not nearly as annoying as the clean tech shootout. Bunch of guys taking cover behind explosive barrels. I think you know how this is going to go. We're not in a great spot right now. Let's actually just uh, try to snipe the guy. A little hard to see because he's behind the fire. And also because zooming in on the fire tanks the frame rate. Because of course it does. Oh god, there it is. Yeah, two guys, hold on. Okay, one. Uh, just... Okay. There we go. So that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. A lot less annoying than the clean tech thing, so... <laughs> Whatever. Time to go. Because we're done. We might have just nailed Sudono's pox boxes. And I guess we're gonna go after him next. Well, that'll be good. Now, the worst part of this mission is right here. We don't get to see Sam, like, awkwardly crouch underneath that bar and get out of here. I really want to see these things, Ubisoft. Come on. I think it's very important to see Sam get out of this little ladder thing, but whatever. I guess we don't get to see that. So now, Sedona's insurance policy has been neutralized. Also, they said the private military corporation was displaced. Now they're saying it's armed guardian services. Which is not the same thing. I don't know if that was a mistake, but whatever. Displaced, of course, is Shetland's operation. But I guess we're going after Sedona next time. I'll see you then.